Welcome back to another episode of Chris Thomas TV. You feel me? All right. Big Shug is starting a podcast from jail. I believe it's called the Collect Call Podcast. And that's actually cool because he finna start airing out a lot of people that's been talking about him since he's been locked up. Whack 100, uh, Mob James, Diddy, um, uh, Keefy D, even though, like I said in my last video, him and Keefy D, you know, they, they, they grew up together. You know what I'm saying? They played on the same football team together as kids. And even when TMZ asked him um, about Keefy D getting arrested, he said, man, I don't wish jail on my worst enemy, man. Free Keefy D. And he spoke on the situation, like, who shot Tupac? And he said, I know it wasn't Anderson. I know it wasn't Anderson. And like I said, Gaddafi and Idi Amin said when they saw a hand come out of the back of that Cadillac, it was a big, black, dark hand. Big Dre. Big Dre. That's who did it. I don't believe Anderson did it either. Because if Anderson did that, he should have been in the army. He should have been in the military. Because the way that car was shot up, man, please. Come on now. Just just, just put just put two and two together. Y'all really think that Keefy D handed Big Dre the gun and he said, No, I don't want it. No, that's Tupac. I'm not going to do that, man, please. And if you look up Big Dre and look up interviews of people talking about him, he was really about that life. Even 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 the feds, the uh, police that was that knew Big Dre personally, they said, man, he was really about that life. He was a shooter. Come on now. But it's good that Big Shug is finally starting a podcast to start responding to people because I ain't saying none of them. I'm 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 gonna put this out there. I am not saying Whack 100, Keefy D, Mob James, uh, all them people fear Shug. I'm not saying that. But this is facts, actual factual statements. When Suge was out, Vlad TV and all that, people, um, Vlad TV, The Breakfast Club, all those podcasts was out. Well, none of them talking about Big Suge while he was out. But as soon as he go behind behind bars, as soon as he get locked up, all of a sudden, Mob James doing interviews, talking about, man, he was a punk, man. I used to punk him, man. I used to I used to do this and that. Man, come on, man. Big Suge is locked up. He doing 28 years, bro. He can't defend himself. You talking about the man while he behind bars. Why not make a podcast while he in there? What he got to lose? You won't hear it from the horse's mouth. Big Suge was the CEO of Death Row Records. He ran everything. He paid everybody. He was in the car with Tupac when he got, when he got shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can say y'all was around Suge. Y'all went around this man 24 hours of the day. Y'all wasn't. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he gonna drop this podcast, and he gonna, he gonna um, give his side of things. Everything. And the Diddy situation, man, if y'all remember, man, and y'all could go look it up. Back in like 2014 or 2013, TMZ uh, asked him about Diddy or whatever. Because Diddy said something like Suge Knight got um, Tupac killed. And he was like, man, Diddy know I ain't killed Tupac. He said it from the jump that Diddy had something to do with Pac getting killed. Even when Rick Ross and Meek Mill had dropped Tupac back, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Because he looked at it like, how you paying homage to somebody, but you rolling? How you playing homage to Tupac, but you rolling with somebody that got Tupac killed? He been, should like Ben said all that. And when his podcast come out, he finna start exposing everything. Everything. You got to hear it from the horse's mouth. People can tell you anything about a person. But until you hear from that person, then you'll believe it. People talk about you right now. Oh, he doing this. He this person. He that person. But you don't know. No, don't nobody know you like you know yourself. Don't nobody know you like you know yourself. You know what I'm saying? And free Big Shug, man. And Whack 100 and, and, and all y'all uh, Mob James. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'll I, I be, li be watching y'all podcasts and whatever. You know, I'll be watching y'all little stuff that y'all be talking about. And uh, Shug Knight, just because he locked up, that don't mean he ain't in tune with what's going on. He just recently said he like NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy, he said he remind him of a 90s artist. That's a good co-sign for Youngboy, for real. You know, uh, Suge Knight has arguably, he was he was the CEO of arguably one of the best labels in hip-hop uh, history. Y'all know Death Row Records put in work, dropped classic albums. So when Suge Knight dropped this podcast, man, I'm going to be in tune. And when he finally dropped it, I'm going to make a review to it. And when he exposing everybody, 
I'm going to be reviewing it, and I'm going to let y'all know what I think about the podcast. But free Big Shug, man. Keep your head up. And I'm glad you started a podcast so you can finally speak your mind on what's going on out there. Free Big Shug, man.